It's an L of a show, says Time Magazine. In fact, it's the funniest, most fabulous new musical of the year. MTV says it's a hit and it rocks Broadway. What you want. Gentlemen, is this the face of Harvard Law? She didn't even bother sending in a personal essay. How's this for a personal essay? I'm what you want, Harvard, I'm the girl for you. And to prove it's true, we all flew here on JetBlue. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. This is what a woods inspires. Everyone admires her and Harvard should too. This is not a personal essay. No fantasy so boring and so much is not fit. So we're appearing my right here, making clear you must admit that L was just one that chose it. just barge in here with singing and dancing and ethnic movement. This is a very flashy presentation, but I still don't see one reason to admit you. How about love? You ever been in love? Cause if you have, you'll know that love never accepts a defeat. No challenge it can't meet. No place it cannot go. Don't say no to a woman in love. When I say love, don't think that I'm naive Because even a person who's smart Can listen to their heart Can listen and believe So believe in what love can achieve Do you believe? Do you believe? Yes, we believe in love, how about you? Welcome to home! very much folks we're back in a moment on a wednesday morning but first this is today on nbc theater experience of going to see a Broadway musical, I was six, and I think it was either Cats or Starlight Express, but it was like within the same weekend. I was visiting New York and my mom took me to both of those shows. I always enjoyed performing as a kid, but I remember, yeah, I remember watching those shows and just being fascinated and, and hoping that I could do that someday. I get to be in a zone, I get to, to be in a different world, I get to tell a story. Um, and sort of lose myself. It's a difficult path, but if you believe that it's like the only thing for you, I don't think it has to be the only thing, but it has to be the thing you're really, really passionate about. And if you're really, really passionate about it, you should pursue it. So you should believe in yourself and then you should fearlessly go after those dreams. I had people in my life that encouraged me, mostly my family, to, to sort of pursue it and to be driven. And I saw from those examples, you know, whether they be famous, whether they be directors, whether they be teachers, that that show you something that you didn't know before, and they sort of open up 
something within you that push you in a new place. It's been the best experience of my life because I grew as a human being, because of the character, because of my connection with her and my openness and the fact that like I got to express emotion and not hold things in. It was really good therapy for me and I grew as I was finding her. I really noticed this, the idea of our show being treated very much like the character Elle is treated when she goes to Harvard. Mm -hmm. She's underestimated and, and considered to be light and fluffy. And a lot of people just assumed that Legally Blonde would be this big, blonde, fluffy, pink thing. And people come and see it and they're kind of surprised that it's maybe a little bit more than that. And it has a little bit more substance and it's wittier than they thought it was going to be. And so it's very similar to, I think, everyone's realization about the character of Elle. It sort of made perfect sense. It's always exciting to me to see an audience respond to a musical and when a musical gives an audience that's leaving the theater hope not only do they get the story not only do they enjoy themselves and get a big broadway musical but they also they also leave feeling better about themselves if something goes wrong i'm like such as i understand your wig fell yes off such as my wig falling off so which what is happened? you're legally blonde and suddenly you're not and then i'm legally bald, bald. Um, and then, you know, and then what's, why is everyone coming to see the show? Because I lost my hair. It challenges me to be quick on my feet. You've been in this business now a long time, because mm -hmm. I saw you off-Broadway in Ruthless when mm -hmm. you were how old? 10 and 11. I had like egg drop soup and french fries before every show and, <laughs> you know. Those days are over with. Yeah, no more egg drop. Thanks for watching the video. That much fun shouldn't be legal.